We have game 5 against someone called Rachmaninoff. Not the most familiar with that name. Anyways, the board looks surprisingly dull in that there's not too many action cards you would like to pick up that you could actually make use of. Honestly, it seems like the only thing to do is to get as many bakers as possible and then, not and then, but and also use chapel to thin your deck as much as possible. Herbalist may come into play. I don't see Horn of Plenty being worth um, up to 8 coins for provinces. And one thing important to note is Wolf Den, right? Punishes you for having one copy of something in your deck. So here we both open with Baker and Chapel making use of our coin tokens. However, there is an alternative opening here with summoning Chapel. So perhaps I could have summoned Chapel here. Remove this hand. It does mean that I wouldn't have a baker right away. I would have to buy perhaps silver first. And then maybe another silver and then maybe a baker. So I'm not sure which way is better. I, summoning chapel definitely gets you thinner faster. But I, I'm not sure if it makes you lose the baker split. So there I pick up an embargo because... Well, I had all my estates in that hand, which means the chapel isn't going to find any. So, it'll find a bunch of coppers and send down my money density, and I really would like to keep my money up to the point to where I can buy bakers, because my opponent, he has a more normal draw with his baker and chapel, and is able to pick up bakers quite regularly here he's not able to though but he picks up a silver which is what i'm going to do too when i can't pick up a baker still not able to cut any estates out from my deck so that's not so good for me and here my opponent is able to pick up a baker so now hopefully i can also pick up one and yeah i i'm able to do so and trash an estate so i feel fairly confident now that I should be able to pick up bakers alongside my opponent, even with the two estates in my deck. So, so far we are just going baker, 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 and it does end up that we get five bakers each. So this part of the game is not very exciting, really, just buy bakers, and for me, I have to trash a little bit when I could, because my opponent is now rid of all his starting cards, just as the one silver in his deck as money whereas i still have a few starting cards which i get rid of some here i still have one estate i believe no more coppers yeah just the one estate so now we have five bakers each right so what is the next part of the game well my opponent picks up a herbalist and i think about it for some time i thought about it at the beginning too and i think yeah that is a reasonable thing to do get the extra plus buy the baker tokens will come up to a sizable amount in this game so it'll be good to have the plus buy additionally the plus buy lets me do things like buy another herbalist to avoid the wolf den or buy another chapel to avoid the wolf den it also means that i don't spend a bunch of coin tokens i don't really want to give that lead to my opponent the coin token lead especially now with a herbalist in his deck it means that he has potential to double province he almost had it here but he doesn't quite have enough money. So what he does end up doing here is going for uh, another silver to remove the wolf den. I agree with. And another herbalist. I think the second herbalist was a little bit too early. They'll probably collide in a deck of his size. Instead what I preferred and what I am going to do here is gold and silver. I can always get the second herbalist later on in the game. It will serve to give me plus three points, right? So instead of buying a duchy, I can buy a herbalist and get three points for it later in the game when the points matter a little bit more. Same goes for the chapel. So I'm holding those two things in the back of my mind. And perhaps also when the deck gets a little bit bigger, then it is better to put a second herbalist in the deck. So here my opponent spends some coin tokens, goes up to 12 for a couple of golds. So they only have the one unique in their deck in the chapel i mean it is unfortunate to have to play with just one chapel but it happens sometimes i think you have to do that in this case just take the wolf then negative three and go with the chapel 
So here, look, double province is an option, but I want one more gold to remove the wolf then. So I'm not going to spend any coin tokens, just pick up a gold and a herbalist now. I think it's a little bit early for my herbalist, but hopefully they don't collide. Now we are starting to not draw everything in our deck because we have too many treasure cards, which isn't a bad thing, really. So here my opponent now goes after the provinces, and really what has happened in this whole exchange is that we've switched first player and second player. So he has effectively become first player because of uh, my shuffles, meaning he's able to get the provinces first, right? Because I have a nearly identical turn here, and I do do the exact same thing as him picking up two provinces. I noticed he top decked a gold with his herbalist. I'm, I wasn't too sure about that, but eventually I also decided to do that. Hey, I know my last two. Three cards are Baker, Herbalist, Silver. Thankfully, the Herbalists didn't collide. So I figure putting a gold on top of the deck isn't terrible. It probably means I get to at least one province next turn, maybe two, if I need to do so. Also, I do have a little bit more coin tokens than my opponent. Not sure how that happened. I think it's how we spent money, right? I tried to spend money to... to use as little coin tokens as possible so the gold and silver as opposed to going for two gold and then the gold and the herbalist gives me a slight lead nothing really to talk about uh, my opponent now gets two provinces and here well we're into the end game of course right so what is my play i can't take one province it's way too easy for my opponent to end the game so i feel like my alternative is to go after duchies I know the first duchy isn't worth anything, but chapel definitely is worth 3 points. And also buying duchy now means that if I buy duchy later, it'll be worth um, 3 points for me. I'll get 6 points actually from that. So perhaps, you know, province duchy is a play I can make. So here my opponent has 6 and I think he makes a misplay here. He picks up 2 estates. Instead, I think better is to pick up a chapel. It means that I cannot get two provinces and win the game. I already have eight coin tokens on the mat. I just need to find eight more dollars and a plus buy to win the game. The two estates means that he only gets two points from that. The chapel would have been with three, and I could not take two provinces here because I would lose on first player. Unfortunately for my opponent, I see... All the money that I, need, that I need to see for two provinces and I'm gonna close out game five here so I was a little bit in the back there but I feel that last play from my opponent allowed me to come back into the game one of those buys should have been a chapel and perhaps even silver just to avoid the wolf den for nothing all right so that is how game five ends and I will see you in the next I believe there's Four more or five more. Alright, see you.